Hello and welcome to another tutorial, a beginning Drupal tutorial. My name is Steve from Weaver Multimedia.com. <laughs> Can't get my tongue. Um, what today? What we're gonna do today on uh, this here Drupal website? Uh, we kind of applied the theme last time, the waffles theme. So you see, there's the lady with the stuff behind her and the header and some icons over here. Um, but what we want to do is just kind of get rid of that stuff and put our own header in. So I'm just gonna have a solid color header. And I'm going to change this icon here, this clipboard for the blog post, uh, this clipboard looking thing. And I'm actually going to put in my own uh, icon. Okay, let's get started on that. Just some really easy ways to you, you can hack into your theme and make it look the way you want to. What I'm going to do here is just uh, try to find out what this, um, this image, where it's located. So what I'm going to do in Firefox here is right click and go to view background image. So we see that it's in, uh, I'm going to pull this down a little bit. See that's in themes, waffles, images, header, uh, dash bg jpeg. So if I look on my um, uh, FTP client here on my server, I'm actually in the images, uh, themes, waffles, images folder, and I look for the header uh, bg. Here it is, right here. So what I can do is just drag that out of my desktop or put it, you know, wherever you want. And then uh, just make it available for you to edit locally on your computer. And I'm going to do that here on Photoshop. So here's Photoshop. And I'm going to open that. I know I had it recently here. That's not the one. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm going to have to do is just re import that onto my desktop, which I should have done. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to the Photoshop and try to uh, open that from my desktop. Here we go. And here it is, header.bg. So that was easy. And what we want to do is just kind of make this a solid color. So what I'm going to do is take a color from here, any color. Um, how about right there? That looks good. And then I'm going to take my brush and get rid of everything. All right, solid color is to be had. And we're just going to save that on our desktop. Okay, and now all we have to do is basically go back to our FTP client um, and let's see, I'll go to my desktop and look for the header dash BG. Where is it? There it is. And I'll just upload that again, overwrite it. And there we've actually changed it. I'm going to look on Chrome here just to make sure. This is Google Chrome. And I'll update that, upload our refresh, and we can see that, you know, we did a good job. Our BG, our background header here, is actually a solid color. All right, so you can put whatever you, you want really into that, um, any type of use your all your Photoshop techniques. But what I kind of want to do now is look into uh, what is this exactly, this icon, where it's located. And we could do that in Chrome. So I'm going to go back to Chrome here and right click on it and inspect the element. So what we've got here, we know it's a block icon. Uh, element here and when we hover over it here in Chrome we can see it we're on the right track and what I want to do is find out what CSS file handles this so we can see here it's uh, tutorial themes waffles icons.css so what we're gonna do is look for that on our web server with my trusty FTP client here so it should be right here tutorial themes waffles and icons.css so I'm gonna click on that and click view just click over right on it. Okay. So what we have here, we actually see the blog blocks are the first things. And we know it's a sidebar uh, icon, so I'm kind of thinking it's this one right here. And you can use your common sense when you're looking at CSS files. They look kind of seem a little daunting, but just look in there and you can hack around and just see what happens. It's not really going to do much if you kind of know what you're doing with HTML. But I see that this is the sidebar, and it looks like TNT underscore icon underscore zero two pn dot png is the file we're looking for on the server. So I'm going to look in the icons folder for this theme. Here it is, and here is the second one. So what I'm going to do is drag this to my desktop as well. You can't see that, but I'm going to do it. And then we're going to go back to Photoshop, but you know what, I just thought of something different, and you'll think of things like this. Um, what I'm actually going to do is just view this. Uh, something's keeping me. Hold on. Okay, we can right-click on it and just hit view. Let's see what happens. 
Uh, okay, here it is. And this is in uh, just Windows Photo Viewer. I'm going to right-click on that and go to Properties just to see what the uh, dimensions are. It's 48 pixels by 48, um, so we just keep that. Uh, just create an image that is that size. Good to go. So I'm going to go back into Photoshop and get rid of this. Hit Control alt n to bring up a new page dialog. And we want 48 by 48, but not inches. We want pixels, so make sure you get those on pixels. 72 is good enough for the web, so that's actually what we want. I'm going to create that, and here's our block for the icon. And I actually have an icon picked out. It's this blogger here, this blogger icon that I downloaded from a bunch of royalty-free icons. There we go. I'm just going to click that into there and give it a little bit of uh, bigger, make it a little bigger. All right, hit enter on that. There we go. That's the icon I want to use. And, uh, oops, Photoshop's giving me some stuff there. And uh, I'm just going to save that as the same image. Um, TNT, actually, TNT icon underscore o2.png. So I'm going to make sure that's a PNG file. Okay, so that's what we want to save it as. I'm just going to leave it on my desktop. Some, for some reason, there was another file named that <laughs> on my desktop. Okay. Now, all we have to do is go back to our FTP client and go to our desktop again here. And look for that TNT02. Looks good. I'm just going to upload that, overwrite it. So now this should give us the... Uh, the look we want. We wanted to change that icon, so I'm just going to refresh here and see what happens. And sometimes the web browsers don't want to uh, upload. Okay, so uh, there it is. I uh, actually should have created a little transparency instead of this white area behind her, but that's just to let you know that you can basically change these uh, themes on the fly, do a lot of a lot of different hacking into the themes. This is just kind of f using Photoshop and doing things just on the surface, but you can definitely change like the backgrounds on these blog post type of things and uh, you know everything underlining and oh, there's the possibilities are endless here in Drupal. But that's all I want to show you is just some simple uh, image editing type of things you can do on the fly with your theme. Next time we'll I'll try to get into a little bit of how to change even more with your theme, kind of hack into it and make it make it your own, basically. All right. I uh, hope this was useful to you. Uh, this has been another Drupal tutorial. My name is Steve from WeaverMultimedia.com. Join me for my next tutorial.